Hello. Today we're going to be making a holiday, a, a Valentine Day pop-up card. So uh, I have a heart shape for you. So I want to go over a couple of different examples and then we can get started, dive right in. So um, for starters, I have a couple of these here. So and these are just some examples of things that you can do. So this one is many hearts. So with this one, I actually, before I glued it down, I traced it over here so that and here. So that way I can color in uh, different colors for these hearts. And I did the same with, with over here. But I didn't decorate the front, but you really should. So some of the others I have is I turned this into a balloon. So I, I, I used marker to color it in. You'll, you have a colored piece of paper. And then I left this part white so it looks like the lights that's hitting on there. And I have my little characters ready to give the balloon as a gift. So another one that I made is a hot air balloon. So this one I used colored pencil. So you can use colored pencil, crayons, markers, you can use the colored paper, whatever you want. So here they are, you know, having a good time up in the, in the air. So I have some other examples as well. So this one you can see I used part of the paper, the leftover paper, to create a heart shape. And I used a lot of paper just for this one. It's all paper to create my pop-up and, you know, some different designs. So here I have another one where I use just little bits of paper as well, the same color. And this one, same thing. So I, I played around with the idea of, of different shapes inside of the heart. So I played around with that. It's like a, almost like a border type of thing. So if I were to do on the front, I would do some of similar pieces of paper to create my border. So, so the last one I have is just you can use guidelines. Using a ruler, create a straight line, and you can draw these on as well. So when you're doing the guidelines, I use a pencil and I a ruler. So I always have a ruler and pencil in handy with an eraser. And I do it very lightly. And then I go over and I do, so I have the top line, the bottom line, and a midline. So that way my uppercase letters, my capital letters, take up the full space and then the other letters take up half that space. I do, do everything in very lightly with pencil, and then, after it's written down, then I go over with a sharp. So I have a, a fine tip and an ultra fine tip. And you can even see here, I still used a, a ruler to create my straight lines. Once I do everything in Sharpie, then I can erase all of the guidelines. I deliberately kept them so you can see them there. And you can go online and you can find a whole bunch of different types of fonts too. Or if you just want to use your handwriting, you can do that as well. Okay, so when we get started, the first thing I like to do is go over what we need. So one, you're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a pencil. I, I like to use my mechanical pencil. Um, an eraser. My pencil has an eraser, but I always like to have one extra. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Um, a paper clip. So you might be wondering, why would I need a paper clip? Well, I'll show you in a little bit. And then again, I have um, my two Sharpies. If you have other Sharpies, if you have different kind of markers, uh, colored pencils, you could use those as well. I also have some caps in case I want to create some different sized circles. I can just trace them, so you could do that as well. And then a hole puncher, so I can use the little bits of paper that comes out of the hole puncher. I can, um, you know, knock them out, and I can glue those on as well. Now I use, uh, I have my stick glue, the, the uh, so you might have a bottle of Elmer's glue. If you use glue, just use a little bit. You don't need a lot. So, but I have you know the, the Elmer's glue stick here. So, okay. So now when we get started, the first thing you have to do is you have your template. Now you're gonna have to cut out the template. Do not cut the dotted lines. Just cut out the template shape. You know, just cut out the solid lines. So once you get that cut out, and leave this, don't, don't do the, anything with that yet, we'll get back to that. Um, once you have those cut out, and you have your templates, like this, I've got to move my guys. So again, so just a, a quick example of some of the other shapes and things you could do with, with your, your colors with your paper. So we'll leave those there. Okay, so once you have your template out, now we're going to take our piece of paper, so I'm going to use the red, and I'm going to position these on. So I, I don't want to put this in the middle because then I, I'm really limiting myself in space. I want to put it as far to the edge as possible and then I'm going to take this template and put that one in and then I can place this one on as well. And now you can see mine's a little off, but that's okay. 
So then I'm going to trace it. If I can hold it down and trace, that would be great. If you need to use a little bit of tape, you could take a little, I have masking tape, you could use scotch tape, but you could put a little one piece of tape down just to hold it in place so that way, oh, it doesn't slide off. So if you hold it in place, then you can trace it all. And after you have it traced, you know, then you could see, I, I did it in marker just so that way you could see. But once you have it completely traced, you're not taking it off yet. Because now this is where your paper clip comes in handy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna match my ruler up with the dotted line. And on the dotted line, now I'm gonna take my paper clip and I'm gonna press really hard all along the dotted line. Now there's three dotted lines, so you have to make sure that you have you press on all three of those. Because the reason we're doing this is to create an indentation. So when I show this one where I had traced it and I did the indentation, you could feel it with your finger now. So now I have I only have the two. I, I don't have this one on there, but I, I can position it, and then I can cut that one out as well. So once you have those positioned and you have them drawn on, you have your indentation lines, now you're ready to cut them out. And once you cut them out, you should get a shape like that. Take your time cutting. And it, while you're watching this video, at any time, you can pause it to get caught up. You know, wait, wait, what did he say? You know, so you could go back and, and do it again and again. So after I cut it, I took, my, I took a lot of time. I made sure I followed the line. It's really important because you, and you want to make sure that the crease and everything you cut out is accurate in order for the pop-up to work. But now I'm ready to fold it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it along the, the crease and you get this really, really nice fold. It's really sharp. Um, and I can fold that one and then I fold that one. So now I have my heart, my, the pop-up that's going to work. So if you want, like I have my little key, the key to the heart, so you can cut out you know, from, on the white paper and the small white paper. So I think everybody got one of these. If not, then you could just use a, a regular scrap of white paper. Or you can even, if I wanted, I could have this as the pink apart. So, so that's you know, why I gave you the, the two pieces of um, the, the pink and the red. So you can make two cards, but you'll also have a lot of extra scrap. So you can use this to create you know, part of the uh, key. So this key doesn't have to be white, it could be pink. So I can, I can put that on, I can create that. So I can have all of my different shapes. Now, now we're gonna go and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to use this. So by taking our big piece of white paper and we're gonna have it the long way, okay? So taking it the long way, I'm gonna take this end and bring it all the way over here. And you wanna make sure that you match it up really well. You wanna match it up and make sure that the line meets the other line. And now I'm going to press it down, and using my fingernail and my thumbnail, I'm going to really create a nice strong crease. So now I have my card. So now I'll take this piece with my where it says glue. I'm going to fold that in half. So you have the glue and the glue. I'm going to fold it this way. And again, match up those lines. Make sure that you get it down really well. Press it with your fingernail, so that way we have a nice crease. Now, this and this will place in, and will fit in, into position, like kind of sandwich it in. Now, if you place this up higher, you'll have space down here to draw a design. If you place it in the middle, you'll have to work around. If you place it low, you can do something on top. So. I think I'm just going to do mine right around here. Okay. So now I'm going to take my paper clip again. And I'm going to really press hard around where the solid line of that little heart shape is. Really press hard. You want to create an indentation on the other piece of paper. Now I've got to make sure this piece of paper doesn't move. So once again, if you need a little piece of tape to hold it down, you know, that, that might be very helpful. I've done this a lot, so I, I, don't, I don't really need the piece of tape, 
but if you haven't done this a lot, use a piece of tape. Just put a little piece of tape, hold it down. So you see I'm, I'm pressing really hard all along the line of the heart. Once I have that done, I can put this to the side. And you're not going to be able to see it very well, but I have a little bit, I have the indentation on here. So now that's basically, I'm not going to draw on that indentation, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take my Elmer's glue, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue there, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue there, right where I see the indentations, because that's where I know that I have to connect it together. So now I'm going to position this, make sure that this line matches with that line, and position these here hold them down and you want to hold it down for about 10 seconds because if you use Elmer's glue from the bottle if you use too much it's going to slide around it's not going to hold place but you still want to make sure even with the glue stick you want to hold it down because you want it to be able to dry it and hold its position so now that those are in position I should be able to fold it down it completely folds I like to give a little bit extra pressure just to get it into position and voila <laughs> So I have my pop-up. So now I can decorate, or I have, I popped, I have a, a hole puncher that punches out like little hearts. So, but you could use, I have you know, pieces like this. You can cut out little strips. I kind of really like these. And you could decorate your card. So like if you want this to be a person, like a little face, I can, I'm gonna decorate that. I could, if I wanted, decorate these all the way around. So like, and with this one, I put the mouth on the side. I didn't put it in the middle because it would have to bend. And when it bends, it might get a, a, a crease that doesn't look good. That was kind of what happened on this one. So you see how when it bends, it's, this, this piece of paper is bending even more and it tore. So you gotta be careful with that. But on this one, I just use a piece of white paper and I cut out for the little bit of the light hitting on there. And this one I have too. So you can decorate. I mean, I have all my different types of decorations. So like here on the front of this card, I cut out a heart and I glued it down. And I heart you. And then I did my guidelines and you can have it say whatever you want. So again, so there's a whole bunch of different ideas you could create, you, know, you could use the paper to create your ideas. You can create scenarios and scenes all around it. So here I, I, on my front, I traced uh, the template before I cut it out. And I was able to create a nice little heart and you know, all of that little design inside as well. So there's a lot of, and again, if you want to do like a whole little scene, so it could be a hot air balloon. So you have the little two little characters up in the air. And I used colored pencil again. Or just a regular balloon. So the one character is giving it to the other. And again, the many hearts. And you can make these into the little candies that say, I heart you, be mine, you're sweet. So you could do whatever you want. So with that, again, I'll just show very briefly, like with my ruler, what I like to do is I just hold my ruler down and very gently draw my line here and then draw my line on the bottom. Now it's very light and I can erase. And I can, uh, let's, I don't know what I, I, heart, you. So now the first time I wrote it down, I wrote it down, it's a little sloppy. So, but now I can go in and I can touch it up and I can make my, my letters really nice. This heart, I think I would rather put in a heart like that and glue it down. But it's a good spot. I traced it on just so I could get an idea of where it's going to go. And then the U, I write that out. And you see, I'm still writing very lightly. Because you want to be able to, if you make a mistake or if there's something you want to change and alter, it's a lot easier to erase if it's, if it's very light. Then I can go in with my Sharpie and then I can add it and finish that up. So that would be my heart.
I hope you, you guys are able to create some amazing stuff.